Hey guys, this is Salty. Welcome to my two minute Blood DK solo Blood Furnace leveling guide. Let's get straight into it. Now you can start this as early as level 60, but it's just not efficient. Just get to 62. Here are the talents and here are the glyphs. Link is in the description. Max out improved Icy Touch after this, followed by Toughness. Buy yourself a whole stack of super healing potions and level 55 food. You absolutely do not need these, but if you are worried, then you can grab some elixir of major fortitude and restorative potions for the rogue poisons. And remember to train your abilities every time you level up, it does make a huge difference. Okay, so your ability order is Icy Touch, Plague Strike, Death Strike, Pestilence to spread your diseases. Use your Heart Strike and then Blood Boil on two or more units. Do not be afraid to use your defensives as needed and use your Raise Dead on cooldown. Right, let's go through every pool in the run. Death Grip, either of these guys and burn them both down. Pull the Imp, Interrupt Fireball, the Adept Smack, so be ready. These guys really do hit hard, so be ready with your defensives. This is an easy pull, so just burn them down. Use your Death and Decay to find Rogue. You'll need to sit and eat after each rogue as you fight against their poison. And it's another easy pull, nothing to worry about here. Remember to interrupt the imp and use defensives with the adepts. Death grip or icy touch the warlock, remember to interrupt the corruption. Another two hard pulls, remember to interrupt the imp and use defensives when facing the adepts. Death grip the legionnaire, nothing much to worry about here though. Same again, these guys don't do anything really special. This is a hard pull, always kill the summoner first and interrupt his summon. Interrupt the warlock's corruption. If you're under level 63, finish this pack and reset. Always Always kill the summoner first and interrupt his summon. Have your defensives ready because these technicians absolutely smack. They'll drop mines, they'll throw dynamite, just be ready. In the previous room there's a double summoner pack, always skip this, it's just not worth the hassle. The boss is easy, just kill him, loot and reset. I died twice on this run so that adds 10 minutes to the clock, you can easily do this in 20 to 25 minutes. Anyway guys, that's it. If you have any questions hit me up in the comments, I hope you find this helpful. My name is Salty and I will catch you next time. Cheers. Yeah.